Hey there guys, Mac Junkie here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get more frames per second in Minecraft, specifically for AMD computers. Um, AMD computers and processors and GPUs are notoriously awful at running Minecraft. Um, if you're using an NVIDIA system, you can feel free to try this, although I have not tested it myself and I do not know if this will actually benefit you. This video is mainly for AMD users. So guys, in the description, I have a link, and that is going to bring you to an Oracle page. And it is simply a new, or not new, but a different version of Java that takes advantage of AMD GPUs. Um, so it's called the Java SE Development Kit 15. All you gotta do once you get to this page is scroll down here where you see Windows X64 installer. You're gonna see this link. Of course, if you're using Mac OS or Linux for some reason, then you go ahead and download whichever one corresponds to your platform. But I am on Windows and I'm using 64-bit, so download here. Click this download. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel it though because I have already downloaded this before. Now, once it is downloaded, all you do is click on it to open it, go through the installation process, and make sure that your Minecraft launcher is closed while you're installing it. Then, once, your, uh, once, once Java's finished installing the new version, open your Minecraft launcher, go to installations, go to whichever version you're editing. I'm gonna do Optifine here. Click the three dots, click edit, click more options, and then you're going to see a Java executable. You're going to click browse. From browse, you're going to go to program files, not program files x86, just regular program files, and go to Java. From here, you're going to choose the JDK 15, the one that we just downloaded. Double click that, and then double click the bin folder. From here, you're going to scroll down until you see the Java, whatever, this thing, not regular Java, just like Java with a W at the end. You're going to see this. You're going to double click that, and that's going to add it right here. Then you're also going to get some JVM arguments. I recommend changing the XMX2G to XMX4G. If you have, uh, if you want to do six gigabytes, you can. Although I'd re usually recommend six gigabytes for people who are doing modded worlds and stuff like that. But four gigabytes should be enough. Once you do that, go ahead and click save. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and open Minecraft and show you the frame rates that I'm getting now. Okay guys, so we are now loaded into Minecraft and I'm going to go ahead and bring up my performance here. As you can see, I'm getting 240, 256, 297, up over 300 FPS here. Um, this is an improvement. I was, just before this, I was barely getting over 100, even on, let me see, I'm like, what, 20 chunks render distance. I have like fancy graphics and stuff, but um, my, my system specs, I have a uh, Ryzen, um, or an RX 5700 XT and a Ryzen 7 3800X. So definitely upper mid-range at this point in 2021. Definitely something that should handle Minecraft no problem. And still I think I should be getting more performance than this, but this is a huge improvement over uh, what I had before. Definitely taking advantage of my 144Hz monitor and allowing me to um, play the game a lot a lot better. Just a lot better overall. Um, anyways, that was just a really quick video. I hope it helped you guys out. And uh, if it did, go ahead and share it around with your friends who have AMD computers and are suffering subpar Minecraft experiences here. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.